Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at youtube.com slash show. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and thank you for being here on the Founder BB Show on a new day. My first guest today is Jill DeLynn. She's the board member and chairperson of the National Headache Foundation. And she's here talking about migraines. Jill DeLynn, welcome to the Founder BB Show. Thank you, Valder. Jill, there's, according to what I was reading, there's 40 million Americans that are impacted by the devastating effects of migraine disease. First of all, I didn't know it was a disease, but tell me about those 40 million sufferers. Well, it's actually, it's 40 million estimated in the United States and 1 billion people worldwide. Uh, some people who have migraine don't even realize they have it. They've been misdiagnosed as having a sinus headache or allergies or some other thing that's not migraine. So this is a, a thing that we're trying to educate people on about the what migraine is and how to treat it. What does my uh, having a migraine do to one's life? I know the effects are probably different per person, but what's some of the general effects? Well, migraine, as you said, does have different effects for different people, but it has really negative effects on people's lives. In our survey, it really impacted our energy level, mental clarity, productivity, our personal relationships, and professional success. And, you know, students get migraine as well, so it also impacts your success at school. Um, nearly two thirds of the people in our survey said that migraine disease makes them feel less productive and that life is passing them by. We feel as though we're chasing an unattainable goal uh, with our treatment options. That's right. There's currently a lot of treatment options out there. Why do people not feel in control? Well, sometimes people try to uh, treat their migraine with over-the-counter medications and occasionally that can backfire. If somebody's taking uh, a lot of over-the-counter medications like acetaminophen or ibuprofen every day or multiple times a day to treat their headache, they can actually cause something called a rebound headache and make the headaches more frequent. Um, by and large, if people are experiencing four or more headache or migraine days per month, they should talk to their healthcare provider. And if it's really impacting productivity, talk about getting on a preventive medication to treat their migraine attacks. May is Women's Health Month, and I'm so glad that you're here um, because the National Headache Foundation and Biohaven Pharmaceuticals believe this is really important. My question to you is, are more women impacted by migraines? Yes, women experience migraine at three times the rate of, of men. In the United States, 18% of women have migraine compared to 6% of men. That's almost one in five women. When women go uh, through puberty, we experience an uptick in the number of migraine we experience. Also with childbirth and with menopause can either trigger uh, or worsen uh, migraine attacks. So this is why it's a very important issue for women. And it's a highly stigmatized disease, I think, primarily because it's considered a women's disease even though men experience it as well. Not having enough education about anything gives you a gap. How do you, how do you as a, a leading authority and a representative, how do you fill the gaps on dealing with a migraine? Well, your radio listeners can't see it, but I have a purple streak in my hair and that is my 
way to elicit conversations with people about migraine. If they see an old lady like me with a purple streak, they go, oh, that's pretty <laughs> cool. But no, it's, it's really purple is the color for migraine advocacy. So I use that as a tool to educate people, but I'm only one person. What I encourage others to do if they're experiencing migraine is to go to reliable sources for information. And this includes the National Headache Foundation website, headaches.org. And in addition, um, the National Headache Foundation is having a Facebook Live event tomorrow on their Facebook site for the National Headache Foundation. I will be speaking with my friend and fellow advocate, Jamie Sanders, and we will be discussing the uh, ramifications of the results from the National Headache Foundation Biohaven study with people with migraine. Jamie Dillon, I love the purple streak, as Malcolm X said, by any means necessary, and you're yes. using any means necessary. I love that. Thanks for being my guest and bringing some information to those people who do suffer from migraine because a headache is just an awful thing to experience. Thanks for being my guest. Thank you. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free, head on over to myphonepouch.com.